Hey YouTube family, just a friendly reminder, if you enjoy content like this that is free, transparent, and not being hidden behind a paywall, consider subscribing to my channel. Alright, let's get into this. Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. So as you can see, we had a pretty rocky day in the market. It kind of sucks in a way. Uh, it was Friday, three-day weekend for uh, or for any of us here in America, but uh, what are you going to do? It is what it is. Um, just so you know, guys, we are overdue for a correction. Not saying that this is the start of one, but um, usually a correction. A lot of market experts on CNB CNBC were completely overvalued right now. And uh, if there is a correction, just be having some cash on the sideline. Not too much. I probably have about 10% cash on the sideline. Uh, and I did buy a couple of stocks, which I'll share with you guys during this um downward trend that we had today but let's see how we did for the week for the day as we see 4.15 percent wow we actually still finished in the green for the week 31 dollars amazing for the week for the one month chart we're about 24 percent 24.54 uh, three month chart 75 percent and uh one year chart one 136.55 percent dropbox finished a little bit in the green all right, so currently we still have about two years left on Dropbox, the call. Tesla, red day for Tesla, it's fine. We're still over uh, up over 135% on Tesla, and we plan to hold Tesla long-term as well. Neo, in case you, you're wondering, uh, usually Neo and Tesla kind of mirror each other, but the reason that Neo's down extra this time around is because I'm not sure you guys know there's actually a second lockdown or a third lockdown I should say happening in China right now so uh, when there's like not only is the market overall down so you see a lot of stocks down the S&P the Nasdaq the Russell 2000 everything was down today but on top of that when you have your you're down on the market and you're also going on a lockdown it causes the stock to go down even more more so than just regular EV stocks so that's the reason that um, Neo's down so much today I should have used a chance to buy a little bit more Neo, but I bought something else instead, and I'll share you with you guys soon. Space, uh, space stock. We are still up. Uh, it had a massive run again. Just got caught in the crosshairs of the sell-off today. Overall, uh, space has had a massive move this week. If you guys don't know, our uh, Kathy Wood is going to start her fund, Arc X, and there's a lot of speculation, not really speculation, but it's a high probability that space stock is going to be in it. So uh, overall, we're still up about 60% on space. MP Materials. Red day as well. There won't be a whole lot of green in this portfolio review for the day, but overall we're still up about 18.37. There won't be a lot, but with the exception of, I guess, Palantir and a couple others. But uh, if you guys don't know why Palantir finished in the green today over the rest of the market, uh, Palantir is actually, um, Kathy Wood purchased more shares of Palantir in one of her funds. So usually anytime Kathy Wood makes a move, the Oh, its stock usually pops. Just despite having uh, a couple of days previously, Citigroup had previous uh, published a sell article for Palantir. Doesn't really affect it when Kathy Wood buys it. And yeah, so she added about a few hundred thousand shares of Palantir. And currently we're still up about 7.23% on Palantir. Apex Technology, a little bit in the red. Overall, I think it's had a solid week this week. Yeah, 13 plus percent. Overall, we're up 14.66% on Apex Technologies. BFT, red day as well, caught in the market sell-off. Um, overall, we're still up about 15.74 on BFT. Encigo. Encigo is my 5G play. You guys can check out my channel. I have a couple videos on Encigo. I think 5G is going to be, uh, it's one of the big sleepers that is happening in 2021. A lot of us are focusing on EVs and clean energy, but I think 5G is just going to sneak under the radar and probably going to be another big mover in 2021. So if you guys are interested, you can check out the channel on some Encigo videos that I have that I have up. RG is probably one of those funds I don't plan on selling the whole year. RG is just like basically... While the rest of the market, well, the rest of my portfolio is like basically bleeding out. RG somehow finally manages to sell off, but not really that much because uh, RG has so much. Um, uh, they're ex exposed to the genomic space, and I, like I said, I've mentioned before, I've also made a video on RG that I think RG, 
She's going to have a massive, massive year. And I think they're probably going to outperform me. This fund's going to outperform my entire portfolio by itself. So I'm going to hold this for at least a year as well. And currently we're up 15.27%. And Golden Nugget Online Gaming, red day for Golden Nugget Online Gaming. Overall, we're still up about 8%. Let's see. Do, do, do. Let's see skills. Skills overall, nice solid. Uh, I shouldn't say solid. Uh, red day, much like uh, most of the market. Overall, we're still up about 12.82%. You guys don't know about skills. It's another stock that Kathy Wood has in her fund. It's um, competitive online gaming platform it's a bit like gambling you could bet money on your uh, mobile gaming sessions beam energy pulled back um the whole entire solar industry and the market all pulled back today but uh, uh solar got hit pretty hard today overall we're still up about eight percent and yeah i think this had a nice run too yeah eight percent in the month yeah 40%. So they've been on fire for the whole month. It's a good cool off for them. CPSH is another one of those um, space plays. CPS, um, CPSH is a, another stock that I plan on holding for a bit, especially once once it goes into that Kathy Wood fund. I think it still has room to run. And currently we're up about 3%. Gick. So now another EV play here, Gik, um, I actually bought 25 more shares of Gik. I think that this is going to probably, has a, a few percentage points to run as well. I think this could um, continue to rise up. If you guys don't know about Gik, they'll be uh, merging with Lightning E-Motors. And it's another one of those SPACs. It's another SPAC that uh, I think has room to run as well. Currently we're down 0.12%. Walgreens. I mentioned yesterday about Walgreens. I think it's uh, it, it probably is like one of the stocks that doesn't fit my portfolio. Everything else is like basically growth and EV and tech. But Walgreens, I think it's a, severe, a seriously undervalued company right now. And I think uh, it has a, a lot of potential to potentially double in the near future. Um, none of this is financial advice, guys. You, should, you guys should always do your own research. But uh, I think this could potentially have a lot of room to run in the future. So I'm going to hang on to this for at least a year. And on top of that, you, as I mentioned yesterday, you get about a 3.8% dividend, which is pretty cool. Forest X. Forest X, uh, big green day. If you guys don't know about it, Forest X, it's uh, basically... Uh, they have like camera advanced camera systems that help detect things on the road and the terrain and everything. It's a an autonomous play. <coughs> I plan to hold on to this for a couple of months. I think it has a bit of room to run. It's kind of like a, a bit of a swing trade. Overall, we're still up, we're up currently about fifteen point twenty five percent on Foresight Autonomous. Now we have ACTC. ACTC is a Shamath back spot. Uh, Shamath back spec. And uh, there's another one of those EV plays right here when it comes to clean energy. Um, I'll make a video about it probably in the next coming days, and I'll explain everything what ArcLight's all about. But for right now, we're up 0.68%. All right, then we have IPOE. You guys don't know about the IPO, insert the letter. Um, every single time Shamath makes a new spec, he calls it... IPO A. He's called them IPO A all the way to he's going to plan to make an IPO Z, 26 different SPACs. This one is IPO E, which will be merging with SoFi. And uh, currently, um, I'll probably make a video about it, but I always like to get in these SPACs that uh, Shamath invests in because they usually have a tendency to run up a lot. Like every single SPAC from the beginning of IPO A, which was Virgin Galactic, all the way to this one, it has like an initial like dead period where it's flat and then it always pops off. And uh, usually they, 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 they do pretty good before they actually uh, change their ticker symbols. So we're gonna stay in this play for a little bit and then we'll see where it goes. But currently we're up 2.31% on SoFi. So another new play. You bought fuel cell. Uh, I've been holding off on buying fuel cell. There's like been a lot of hype 
you could probably look at YouTube and there's like a million videos off fuel cell. I decided to finally jump in. Toward the end of uh, closing of the market, I decided to buy uh, 25 shares. If the market continues to dip, I'll probably keep adding to my position. I'll dollar cost average. Uh, currently, we're up about 0.57%. You got Doge. We're all not too much movement in Doge. We're down still negative six sixteen point sixty four percent. Bitcoin. Bitcoin trading around thirty six k again. Overall, we're still up about thirty six point seventy five on Bitcoin. In Ethereum. In Ethereum, we are up about five percent on Ethereum. So yeah, that is the portfolio for the day. Yeah, that'll do it for me, guys. I hope you guys enjoyed the portfolio review. If you did, consider subscribing, liking, commenting. I would greatly appreciate it. My name is Jill, and I'll see you guys next week. Take care.